Okay, so today I'm gonna be picking this quick set uh, Smart Key Gen 3. Uh, Gen 3, unlike the Gen 2, you cannot ten tension just with the regular wrench. You will not get anything to bind up because the sidebar has to, uh, sidebar is square and it's in a square channel and it has to go in before you can even start to rotate or it just binds up and kind of demonstrate that with the key. So key turns freely. If you back it out one notch and then apply tension, push it into where it should be, nothing will go until I back off and then turn because that sidebar just jams up on there and won't release. So you have to have a tool to get in. There's a little gap right here where they put a steel bearing. Uh, it's drill protection. And you can go in through there and you can access the sidebar through that. There's lots of videos on how to do this and uh, the techniques people use. I won't really go into it much here other than say there's two techniques one to access the middle of the sidebar where it's exposed the other is to go down in to the channel that it actually sits in and depress it from there which is the technique I'm going to be using with my highly refined special tool so there's a special tool I've developed it's highly refined it is not something that you can just pick up at your everyday store, I assure you, it is not made out of a bobby pin with a straightened out with a little kink at the end, sanded down smooth. That is not what this is. This is a uh, really expensive special tool. So we slip it into that opening, push it in, like this, and then I rotate up. Try and find my place. You gotta put inward pressure as you push it in towards the center, so that you right up on the uh, sidebar instead of just pushing into its face. And then you can feel that pin one goes tight. When you get it to the right spot, the pin will go looser and the tension uh, shim will slide in a little further. Do the same thing with pin 2. I actually need to back it off a little bit. There we go. Yeah, okay, so 2 is set. 3. All right. got to push it in further to get pins 4 and 5 to tension. Pressure on the back half of the um, was see. When you have it right, it will turn a little farther than normal in this tension wrench will get bound up so continue to hold turning pressure we pull that out and we have an open Make sure I'm staying in frame with all this get that out of the way all right I'm going to go ahead and lock this back up. I have the key over here. Works just fine. Alright. I need to pull that clip off the back. I apologize. I got the scanner on back here. You don't need to hear that. The cork comes out. 
clip off the back. I don't have a pinning tray here, so I'm just using this napkin to keep things from going everywhere. I guess I better put the key in. Get all the sliders back in the center position. All right. Now, I'm just gonna set that right there. See if I can get this up here where you can see the square sidebar channel. So I'm shoving the tension wrench into. And they're actually nice and it's kind of rounded at the end so it slides in easy. Um, the sidebar itself is right here. You can see it's retracted at the moment. If I pull the key out a notch, it pops up. In these two, underneath these two black clips are two uh, coil springs that are very weak, but their job is once it's possible that for the sidebar to go in, they just push the sidebar in very gently. Um, there's very little spring tension there, so it's not enough to overcome uh, the springs on the, the pins themselves. Uh, so the spring, you, you're not going to feel any tension if you just push your uh, pick in there and start fumbling around everything's going to feel loose. So you have to get some tension down on that sidebar and that's what the uh, special tool does. I can kind of demonstrate here, hopefully. Oh, key, duh, key. Okay. So right now, the sidebar is retracted, so this is going to go in a lot easier than it normally would. Um, but it just slips down in here between the case, the outer case, and the core. And then you rotate back to push it up against the top of the channel, so it rides up over the top of the sidebar, and you can shove it into place. And you just keep working it back as you pick the pins. You work it further back and further back. Then once you have everything in place, you tension the core, and you pull the shim out like that, and it rotates. That's the basic process of what was done while picking this. All right. This is the sidebar. Just try and pull this off. This clip on this one is kind of flimsy. They're, these little black clips are made out of plastic, and this one keeps wanting to pop off, and the spring comes out. I'm hoping I don't lose it here. It's a real pain. Keep doing it upside down so the sliders fall out. Uh, let's see if we can get a look at this. I'll focus properly, but we got these sliders and they've got all these serrations at the top that interact with key pins have little Protrusions. I don't know if I can get that to show in this lighting. They have little fine protrusions at the bottom of that kind of pin you see sticking into the slot there. It's these little fine protrusions which interact with these little fine serrations up near the top of the. Let's see if I can get a pick here to. Yeah, right up here at the top. That's how it can, when you slide this, when you set it to a key, it's lining up on one of these with the key pin with the key in. Then when the key comes out, it springs on the key pins, put them all to their rest state, which slides these sliders in different directions. And then when the 
the key goes in, it aligns them all back to center like this so that the sidebar can then retract into just little set this down real quick. I'm still in frame. I'm gonna pop these sliders out. And if you look here you can see the bump in the camera. You can see the sidebar running through the center there. Sliders do this. The uh, serrations that the key pins go in are here. There's a little groove back here for the sidebar. And some, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's some false gates in there. And then there's the true sidebar gate right there. And then there's these little notches here, which interact with those little pieces that stick up at the bottom of the core here uh, when you push it back to keep them lined up when you're the way this works in basic simple terms is with the proper key in all the sliders will be centered you, s you rotate the core push a, peak, a special tool or basically anything in here when this is up at the top and in the right position it's allowed to be pushed back that disengages all these sliders from the key these little those little pegs that stick up interact with the notch on the sliders keeping them centered but disengage from the key pins you can pull your key out put in the new key and it will slide forward and those serrations will grab onto whatever uh, the key pins will be in their set location and whichever uh, serration lines up with that will engage so that they are now set to that code for the new key. I, it's a terrible explanation I'm sure but somebody else if you really want to know how they work go watch somebody who's better at this than me. Anyway that is uh, picking and gutting a quick set Gen 3 with the highly specialized, highly refined special tool. And that's it. Uh, I gotta get this mess back together. Thanks for watching.